Hi, so today we're going to talk about dimensional analysis and how we can use it for conversions to convert one number to another. Dimensional analysis is pretty much it's calculating the amount of an unknown quantity by analyzing the relationships between the known quantities. So you find out what you do know, the measurements that you do know, and you put those all together and compare them. And through that, we're going to find out what we don't know, what we need to know, the unknown quantity. So dimensional analysis can be used to convert one unit of measurement to another. And we're talking about any unit of measurement. It doesn't matter what it is, it's, if it's a dozen or an inch or a foot. So for example, uh, how many centimeters in one foot? Or how many moles of sodium chloride in 25 milligrams of sodium chloride? Or um, how many steps does Blake Griffin take to run back and forth one time on the basketball court? We can uh, find all of these uh, unknown quantities by finding what we do know about it and using those to come to the conclusion that uh, of you know what we're trying to find of the unknown quantity. So for a brief minute, just for a, a word about working with word problems. Any word problem that you get, whether it's for dimensional analysis or not, um, usually is, uh, especially if it has to do with like math or chemistry, some sort of calculation word problem that requires you to calculate something. The best way you can approach it is to first you read the entire word problem. Don't just skim it because too many people skim it and then you can miss something important. So really read the entire word problem. And what you're reading for, what you're looking for uh, when you read through the entire word problem is you identify the question, the question being asked. That question that, uh, that the uh, word problem asks, it's usually at the end of the word problem. It's usually at the end of the paragraph, but sometimes it's not. Um, but either way, you want to identify what question is being asked with this word problem. What is this word problem asking? And then you want to extract all the facts from the problem. You want to take all the facts that you know about the problem, uh, including uh, measurements of known quantities that relates to the unknown quantity you're being asked for and you want to make a table of all of those facts so if we have in there um, you know 12 inches equals one foot we want to put that down in a table we want to make a table of all the facts that you extracted from the word problem only then do you start to solve, do you start the steps to actually solve the problem. So again, any word problem that you deal with, the first thing you need to do is you need to read the entire word problem, make sure you understand it, identify the question being asked, and then extract the facts, extract all the facts from the problem that's in the little paragraph you just read, and make a table of those facts. Then and only then can you start to st start the steps to solve the problem. So for, exa for example, the extract the fact step when you're working with word problems. Here's an example, here's a word problem. If an inch contains 2.5 centimeters and 12 inches equals one foot, how many centimeters are in a yard? And then they give you a hint, one yard equals three feet. So we're going to look at this and we're going to extract the facts from this from this word problem. Now we've read the word problem all the way through. Um, and let's go back up and read through it again. And this time we can kind of breeze through it and skim through it for all the numbers that it's talking about. So the first one we come to is if an inch contains 2.54 centimeters. So that's one fact. An inch contains 2.54 centimeters. So we're going to write it down here. One inch equals 
four centimeters. All right, now that's one fact. So if you can read my handwriting, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Now let's go back up to the word problem and go through it some more until we get to the next fact. So it says if an inch contains 2.54 centimeters and 12 inches equals one foot, so there's another fact, 12 inches equals one foot. So let's write this down, 12 inches equals one foot. So now we have that fact written down in this little table. Now let's keep going. If an inch contains 2.54 centimeters and 12 inches equals one foot, how many centimeters are in a yard? Hint, one yard equals three feet. So that hint, one yard equals three feet, is another fact that we got out of this word problem. So let's write it down here on the table. One yard, and the abbreviation for yard is YD. One yard equals three feet. Okay. And I'll have this typed up and looking pretty on the next slide. So we have the one inch equals 2.54 centimeters, 12 inches equals one foot, and one yard equals three feet. So now we have all of that is, uh, all, are all the facts that we've extracted out of this word problem. So that's what I mean by extract the facts and make a table about it below the word problem. So now that we've done that, We can go to, and there it is looking pretty, so you don't have to look at my handwriting. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters, 12 inches equals one foot, and one yard equals three feet. And these are called conversion factors. When you extract all those facts out of the word problem and you set them to equal signs, you write them in a, in a mathematical formula where they're equal to each other, these are called conversion factors, and this is what we're going to use to convert one unit of measurement to another. Now, once again, just to remind you, working with word problems, first read the word problem and then identify the question being asked, identify the question being asked and then you want to extract the facts from the problem. Make a table of all the facts, and that's what we call conversion factors. See, it even has the word fact in it, conversion factors, the facts we use to convert. Then you can start to solve the steps, or start the steps to solve the problem after you've made the, your table of facts. Now in dimensional analysis, we're going to begin with those same steps, just to, as a reminder. First, you're going to write the question mark equation. Now that was when, remember when I said, when reading a word problem, you want to look for what question the word problem is trying to ask you. So we're going to write this question down in the form of a mathematical equation instead of using words. Number two is make a table of the conversion factors, and that's just what we did, what I was just showing you, the extract the facts part and make a table of it. And then you wanna set up the conversion factors using a divisor bar instead of the equal sign. So set up the conversion factors using a divisor bar, divisor bar instead of the equal sign. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Then you want to cancel out the units of measurement because they'll be all lined up for you to cancel them out. And then you want to multiply and divide. And then you have your answer. So let's go through these steps and we'll see what I'm talking you'll see what I'm talking about. 
first you want to write the question mark equation. Write the question mark equation. So let's go back to our problem. Example, if an inch contains 2.54 centimeters and 12 inches equals one foot, how many centimeters are in a yard? Now, do you see how this is the actual question the word problem is trying to ask you? It's, there's a big clue because there's a question mark right after it. See that question mark? So you know it's that, that's where the question's gonna be. So the question is how many centimeters are in a yard? Now, how do we write that in a mathematical formula instead of using the words? Well, that's why I call it the question mark equation, because we're just going to use a question mark for the how many part of it. So just as you read it, uh, as you read the words, write them down, but use numbers, use the question mark and use numbers uh, instead of using words. So how many, so that's the question mark, how many centimeters, so how many centimeters, are in, that's an equal sign, how many centimeters are equal to, or how many centimeters are in, a yard. So a yard means one yard, so one yard. And yard is abbreviated, oops, yard is abbreviated YD. So how many centimeters are in one yard? There's your question mark equation. See, now it looks all pretty. How many centimeters are in one yard? Now, step number two for the dimensional analysis is make a table of the conversion factors. And those were those facts when I said extract the facts and we wrote all the facts from the question down. That's what I'm talking about. Those are called conversion factors because that's what we're going to use to convert the numbers in that question mark statement we had. So extract the facts. If an inch contains 2.5 centimeters, so there's one, an inch contains 2.5 centimeters, and 12 inches equals one foot, and then down here, one yard equals three feet. And you see we have them down here. An inch equals 2.54 centimeters, 12 inches equals one foot, one yard equals three feet. Those are your conversion factors. So now we have them all lined up in a nice little table down here. See this table? And notice that I put at the top of the table our question mark equation on top of all of the conversion factors. Now I did that because we're going to set up this problem and the first thing that you're going to write down is the known quantity from this question mark equation. We're going to start with the question mark equation before we get to the conversion factors. We're going to start with the question mark equation before we get to the conversion factors. So which side of the equal sign is known? Well, it's this one yard over here. Because see, we have a question mark over on the other side of the equal sign. We don't know how many centimeters yet. That's the question. But we do know that on the other side of the equal sign, we have this one yard sitting there. So that's what we're going to write down first. We're just going to write down one yard. And then since we don't know how many centimeters is in one yard, we're just going to put the whole one yard over one. So you write the one yard and then a divisor bar, and then underneath that, you write the one. Okay, now, so we have that out of the way. That's our first step. See, so begin with the question equation, place the known value over one, and that's what it looks like, one yard over one. Now, what do we do with this one yard over one? Well, the next thing we do is write a multiplication sign and a divisor bar next to it. Okay, so before you do anything else, before you worry about what's in the conversion factors, just don't worry about it yet. First, write a multiplication sign and a divisor bar. 
right after the one yard over one. Okay, now copy the unit of measurement from the top of the fraction to underneath the new divisor bar. So the top of the fraction is over here, the yard. See, we just need the unit of measurement. So the unit of measurement at the top of this uh, fraction that we wrote, the one yard over one, that unit of measurement is a yard. So we're going to copy the yard down here underneath the divisor bar. Now just not the one part of the yard, just the unit of measurement yard. And do this before you look up, before you look at any of your uh, conversion factors or try to understand the question or anything. Just copy down the unit of measurement from the last fraction and put it down um, underneath the new divisor bar that you just wrote, that you just created. So now we have yard copied uh, on the, underneath the new divisor bar. And there it is looking pretty. Now what do we do? Well, let's find the conversion factor that has the unit of measurement yard in it. Because see, we have this yard now, and but we don't have any value next to the yard yet because we don't know what we're gonna write yet. So let's go over here and here's a yard down at the bottom, this last conversion factor, one yard equals three feet. So one yard equals three feet. So we're gonna take that one for the one yard and we're gonna write it down here next to the yard. So we have one yard. And now instead of saying one yard equals three feet, like we could sit there and go one yard equals three feet, we don't wanna do that. What we wanna do is instead of that equal sign in the one yard equals three feet, we're gonna switch that out for this divisor bar that we just drew, this divisor bar over here. So instead of the equal sign, uh, instead of this three feet being on the other side of the equal sign from the one yard, we're going to put the three feet on the other side of the divisor bar from this one yard. So that means we're gonna write it up here at the top. So three feet. So this is gonna read three feet over one yard. Okay, so, so far we have one yard over one times three feet over one yard. And we can cross this one yard equals three feet off in our conversion table because we've already used it. You can only use those once. And there it is looking pretty. And let's go ahead and cross this one yard equals three feet off again, just to remind us that we already used that. Now, what do we do? Well, after we get the three feet over one yard, then we write another multiplication sign and divisor bar, just like we did before. Don't worry about any of the numbers or any of the conversion factors that you need to put in here. Just write the multiplication sign and the divisor bar. Now, take the unit of measurement from the top of that last fraction that we just made. See this last fraction we just wrote, the three feet over one yard? We're gonna take this the foot part of it, this unit of measurement feet from the top of this fraction, and we're going to write it at the bottom of the brand new divisor bar we just drew. So we're just gonna, we're not the three in the feet, we're just gonna write feet, okay? So we're just gonna write feet. And there it is looking pretty, so. Now, after you've written that feet, now what do we put on, uh, on the top and on the bottom of this divisor bar? Well, we have feet over here, and we need to find a value to go with the feet. So let's go back into the conversion factors and look for a conversion factor that has the unit of measurement feet in it. And that would be this one, the 12 inches equals one foot. And we already used this one down here. 
So now the 12 inches equals one foot. So this says one foot. So that's what we're going to write under the divisor bar, one foot. And then instead of the equal sign, what's on the other side of the equal sign is 12 inches. We're going to put that on the other side of the divisor bar, on the top of the divisor bar. So 12 inches. Okay, and we're going to cross this 12 inches equals one foot out because you can only use the conversion factors once. See there, it looks pretty again. And let's cross these out. Let's continue to cross these out because we just used these two. All right, now what do we do? Well, we, you guessed it, draw another multiplication sign and another divisor bar. There we go. Now what do we do after we draw this multiplication sign in this divisor bar? Well, we go back to the last fraction, this 12 inches over one foot that we just wrote, and we take the unit of measurement from the top of the fraction bar, which is inches, and we copy it down here on the bottom of this, on the bottom of the new divisor bar we just drew. Now, not the 12 and 12 inches, just the inches part, just the unit of measurement, not the numbers. And there it is looking pretty. Now, what do we put with this inches down here, this new inches underneath this blank divisor bar? Well, we have to go over the conversion factors and we have to find a conversion factor that has inches in it. Now, this bottom one we already used, one yard equals three feet. This middle one we already used, 12 inches equals one foot. Now with this one, conversion factor, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Does that have the unit of measurement inch in it? It sure does. So we're going to use this conversion factor for this next divisor bar. So this conversion factor says one inch equals 2.5 centimeters. So that one inch, the one is going to go down here with the inch on the bottom of the new divisor bar and on the top of the new divisor bar is going to go whatever is on the other side of this equals from the one inch which is 2.54 centimeters Two point five four centimeters. Okay, so let's cross this out because we used that already. Now the next thing we do is we have it all set up written out real pretty here. See the one yard over one times three feet over one yard times twelve inches over one foot times two point five four centimeters over one inch. Now we're going to go through and we're going to cancel out all of the units of measurement that cancel out that are opposite from each other. If it, you can only cancel it out if they appear twice, once on the top of a fraction and once on the bottom of the fraction. So they'll cancel out. Let's look at this first unit of measurement, the yard. There's a yard right here. See in the first unit, the first uh, divisor bar, yard. And then the next one, there's a yard on the bottom of the divisor bar. So those can be crossed out. We're going to cancel those out. Now don't cancel out the numbers, just cancel out the units of measurement. Next is a foot, three feet, and one foot is underneath the divisor bar, and three feet is on top of the divisor bar. So feet cancel out. And then the next one, there's inches on the top of the divisor bar, and then there's inches on the bottom of the, of the next divisor bar. So now we have all of those canceled out. What's left is this centimeters over here. Do we have any centimeters in this set up in this equation on the bottoms of, bottom of a divisor bar so we can cancel out the centimeters? No. We do not, so you cannot cancel out the centimeters. So that just leaves us with that one remaining unit of measurement, just the centimeters, because all the other units of measurement canceled out. 
now we rewrote it real pretty with without all the canceled out units of measurement. So this is what it looks like. It's just 1 times 3 times 12 times 2.54 and then the centimeters because we did not cancel out those centimeters. And that's all over 1 just because there was a coincidence that they all happen to be 1 underneath the divisor bar and multiplied together to get 1. So you're going to multiply and divide. So the answer is 91.44 centimeters after you've multiplied and divided that. Is that what we're looking for? The centimeters, we're looking for how many centimeters is equal to one yard, right? And that's over here in our question mark equation over here that we wrote. How many centimeters is equal to one yard? Well, now we have 91.44 centimeters. So that sounds like an answer to the question to me. So for the entire problem, you can see if an inch contains 2.54 centimeters and 12 inches equals one foot, how many centimeters are in a yard? Hint, one yard equals three feet. So as you can see, one yard equals 91.44 centimeters. Now when you write this, the solution to this problem, you rewrite it to make it look pretty, and you make sure you include the units of measurement, like the one yard. You don't just put one equals 91.44 centimeters, and you don't just put one yard equals 91.44. You got to put the centimeters on there. Include the units of measurement or your teacher is going to count it off. So just to recap, working with word problems in general, any word problem, you want to first read the whole word problem, read it all the way through, then you want to identify the question being asked, and that's what we end up using for our question mark uh, equation. Identify the question being asked, and then you want to extract the facts. Extract all the facts from the problem, and then make a table of those facts, and that's called, those are called conversion factors. Those are the facts that we use to convert the inches into centimeters. Then you can start the steps to so actually go about solving the problem and doing the math to solve the problem. But before you do any math to solve the problem or anything, you need to do these steps first. You need to read it. You need to identify what question are they even asking you. And then you need to take out all the facts that you can from the problem and make a table of them for the conversion factors. In dimensional analysis, what we just covered, you want to write down the question mark equation. That's the question of what they're going to ask, what they asked you in the word problem, but you put it in equation form. So that's when you put the question mark for how many, you know, or how much question mark, you know, how many, uh, oops, how many centimeters? I wrote yards. How many centimeters equals one yard? So that would be the question mark equation that we just did. Then you want to make a table of the conversion factors. All of those other ones, the 12 inches equals one foot and three feet equal yard. Then you want to set up the conversion factors using a divisor bar instead of the equal sign. That's when we keep just making a multiplication sign and a divisor bar. Then you write down opposites, units of measurement. Then number four, we're going to cancel out the units of measurement in that, in that whole long uh, thing that we wrote, in that whole long equation that we wrote. Cancel out all of the opposite units of measurement, the one, the inch that was on top of the divisor bar, and then there's an inch on the bottom of a divisor bar. So you can cross both of those out. And then after that, then you can multiply and divide and get the uh, result for the pro from the problem.